Hey guys, Mike Taylor, broker owner, Red Door Property Management. Today I'm super excited to bring you the Westfield, Indiana uh, rental market report for January of 2023. Uh, Westfield continues to outperform, um, really Indianapolis and I think pretty much all other sub-markets of Indianapolis. So if you recall last month, uh, we kind of finished out the year with our December report. We saw, um, we saw, we saw rental rates uh, steadying uh, stabilizing and kind of flatlining a little bit. Um, but that is in contrast to other areas that were taking a pretty good decline. So even, even last month as rents are, uh, stabilizing Westfield is kind of outperforming the rest of the market in general. And again, this month we see the same thing. Westfield is, is, uh, has actually price increases where other places are seeing, uh, price decreases. So let's take a look and see what happened in January in Westfield. Okay, let's dive in and take a look at what happened in the uh, rental market in Westfield, Indiana in January 2023. Um, as I mentioned, um, we are seeing outperformance of other areas in the Indianapolis market. So there's currently 57 houses on the market um, in, in the Westfield submarket. Uh, but what's really exciting is this um, median rental price. So, you know, last year, the end of the year, we saw it kind of peak in August, which is pretty consistent with everywhere else. And then we saw it kind of come down and, and flatten out here a little bit. Uh, pretty normal for some seasonal activity. Um, and again, it was versus Indianapolis or other areas that kind of saw it crater like that. So Westfield overall did much better. Um, but what's super exciting is as we start the new year, look at this January over January. So we're looking at this is 2022. This is the trend line of 2023. So we're seeing two things here. One, that uh, January 2023 uh, jumped up and we actually saw then a 23% increase from January of 2022, which is huge. I mean, that's that's crazy. Uh, but it's also a seven and let's call it a half percent increase from last month, which is really, really encouraging. Because as I mentioned, if you check out our, our Indianapolis videos or some of the other videos that we're doing, that's actually still declining a little bit in January. And then what we're getting here, this is a little bit of a sneak peek in February. These numbers aren't finalized, but it's looking like uh, February is going to continue the trend line of upward upward rents in uh, Westfield. So that's exciting for investors in the Westfield market. Um, average days on the market is also um, good news. Um, it's at 22 right now. So uh, that's actually up 22% um, from last year and 10.5% from last month. Uh, but 22 is still a very reasonable average days on the market. Um, other areas we are seeing uh, 45, even 60 days in some of the submarkets that we're seeing. So to keep it at 22 in January uh, is really, really encouraging for the upcoming leasing season. Uh, we kind of already went over this, but the average rent in Westfield is $2,095 uh, in January. That's for the homes that were leased in January. Uh, so let's call it $2,100 is your average rent. Um, and that's up again, 23% over last year and seven and a half percent over, uh, over last month. Uh, this bottom middle one here is just to show you where the activity is. Um, and again, you would expect it to be right around where this average, average rent is. Um, and so it's, it's really in between that 1500 and call it 25, 2600, um, few outliers here in the 3000. I mean, actually it gets a pretty good amount of activity in that higher range, but for the most part, if I have, if I have a house in Westfield, actually I do, um, all of mine are going to be between that 1500 and 2,500, 3000, maybe pushing it just a little bit. So that's where the activity is. And then the absorption rate. So this one doesn't make a ton of sense to me because the 2.8 is actually kind of high. So absorption rate is um, if we stop putting homes on the market, how long is it going to take to run through that inventory? So we're almost at three months. Uh, that's high compared to other submarkets. I would just put a caveat on that. So we pull this information uh, from a variety of sources. This particular um, data set comes from um, from my board, the, uh, the BLC or the MLS. So um, the caveat is there's not a ton of data in there. So this might just be a little bit of a blip and anomaly due, due to a, a relatively low data set. So we'll keep an eye on it. I'm not super concerned about it because all of the other metrics uh, that we're looking at, days on the market, rent average rental price, uh, all of those are pointing towards positive trends for Westfield. So there you have it. Um, I, I see good things for Westfield for 2023. 
Um, if I'm an investor, I am. I am still currently looking in this market. So um, take a look at our other videos so you can kind of see how this does compare to Indianapolis. We do one for Fishers. We do one for Noblesville. We did one for Anderson this month. So you can take a look at how Westfield is doing in comparison to those other submarkets of Indianapolis because it does make a difference uh, in the different submarkets. So take a look at those. Uh, please like our channel, subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on this as well as other property management tips and tricks in the Indianapolis area.